Hello everybody, welcome into another Movie Commentary Monday, a series I cancelled, but I'm still doing. I know just what to do. Ah? <laughs> you guys know what I'm doing, don't you? It's the Christmas season! I love Christmas movies, and I love bad Christmas movies. So this was inevitable that I was going to watch this. Vanessa Hudgens, is, I think she's like contractually obligated to make bad Christmas movies now with Netflix. Last year it was The Christmas Switch, I think it was called. The plot was that they looked identical, but one was a princess and the other was a baker. And I don't know if you've heard this, but they're making a sequel to that movie. But it's not just those two characters getting into more hijinks. They have a third person that looks like Vanessa Hudgens. And I feel like if they just continue this movie series long enough, by like movie eight, everybody's gonna be Vanessa Hudgens. You're gonna be watching the movie and you are going to be Vanessa Hudgens. You're just everybody, everybody's Vanessa Hudgens. <laughs> Ooh, that's funny. I just clean my glasses with my laughter. They say laughter is the best medicine. I also say it's the best cleaning product. <laughs> Fuck you, Clorox. Oh, here we go, folks. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Sit back. Guys, sit- I want you to sit back and relax. Let's have fun with this movie. 1334? Dog, he's gonna bring the plague with him. How does he get transported? Can we find out? Oh, God. A cheesy Christmas time travel story? <laughs> Oh, get you, I don't need your fucking words on the screen. I can understand your English just fine. Christmas Hawking Competition! Oh, there's a Hawking Competition. And so cool lions of okay, I love this, but also just speed this shit up, okay? It's literally been two minutes, and I'm already like, let's get into this, guys. Oh, they're gonna chase a bird. The days before Netflix. They just chase birds for fun. Wild. <laughs> I hate it, but I love it at the same time. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, we're a couple years ahead now. What, 2019 minus 1334? Like, 250 years? Somewhere in there? Then said he turned out just to be a frog. <laughs> wait, wait, is she, is she giving love advice? I thought he was my one true love. Jesus, girl. You're in high school. Then said he turned out just to be a frog. There seems to almost be an epidemic of those types around here lately. Don't give her love advice. That's not... I feel like you're overstepping your bounds as a teacher, aren't you? Giving relationship advice? We all grow up fantasizing. Ah, uh, I don't know where you're going with this sentence, but be careful. Be ca you're not the sex ed teacher, okay? That's all it is. A fantasy. I love it. I love Christmas movies where the characters are cynical because those characters always get the best things to happen to them. In real life, if you're cynical, everybody hates you. <laughs> uh, mm. <laughs> but in Christmas movies, they're always rewarded with uh, just a future of happiness. Thanks, Miss Winters. <laughs> <laughs> her fucking last name is Winters? You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be crit- Is her first name Holly? Brooke, I need a favor. Brooke, okay. Winters. <laughs> I hate you. Oh, a witch? That's how he's gonna get transported? Oh, avoid. <laughs> avoid. Stab? What are your options? If I was playing a video game right now, and there was options like, Hello, how are you doing? Can I help you? Stab? and f Or flee? It's one of the last two. And I might go with stab, I don't know. Pray you help one as beauteous as myself. Ew. <laughs> Sorry. If you fail to fulfill your quest before midnight on Christmas Eve, you shall never become a true knight. <laughs> Dog, what? You're just setting these parameters on him? Is he Cinderella? Is this Christmas Cinderella? <laughs> Fucking traitor horse. Is this Disney? Horse just runs away. Could have traveled through time with him, but no. <laughs> he just... What if he just stabbed the little kid? <laughs> He's just like, ah! He's just so freaked out, he just starts murdering people. <laughs> what? Her finger wasn't anywhere near the button. How are you taking pictures? <laughs> oh my god! You are not doing that with this movie as well. Oh, she has an ex who she's still not over. This is the same as the Switch movie. Your ex-boyfriend, James. Yeah, that's Fucking James. James. 
It's James. A real puppy, not a stuffed animal this time. Oh, and one more thing. She's gonna wish for a Can boyfriend for her. Can you prove my for aunt for a new boyfriend? <laughs> Someone really nice. <laughs> this shit is too predictable. I've seen too many of these. I've seen too many of these. They always, they're all, kids are always wishing for a boyfriend for their single aunts and uncles and moms and dads that are single. And you know what? Later on, the kid's gonna be like, mm-hmm, that's my doing. When she sees the two get together. Yeah, bet, bet there's a shot of her just sipping her cocoa like, oop, looks like my wish came true. <laughs> Is she gonna hit his ass? She gonna hit his ass. <laughs> that is dangerous. Did you see her windshield? You should not be driving. I was just about to call 911. Oh, <laughs> bet. She was gonna stash him in the trunk. I think he hit his head. You think he hit his head? Bitch, you ran him over. He better file a police report. To the hospital, get checked okay, out. Okay, I'm thinking. I'll meet you there. Okay. <laughs> Bitch ran the dude over. And you're just gonna let her go? What kind of cop are you? What town is this? It's, oh, it's Christmas movie town, that's right. Where you can hit people with your cars, and they just let you off the hook. They also just gave him his sword in a hospital. Are you allowed to bring a sword to a hospital? And if they confiscate a sword from you, do they just give it back to you? Maybe once you're outside the hospital, but he's in the lobby. Yeah, see? Imagine if that sword was unsheathed. Head's gone. Hmm. For some reason, I'm having difficulty reading this book. I can't figure out why. If only there was some other easy way to consume this story. Hi. My name is Dylan with Audible. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, excuse me, one second. Now I'm Dylan with Audible. Audible is offering such a good deal right now. For the next three months, $6.95 a month. All you have to do is go to audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, or just text Dylan is in trouble to 500-500, you'll get that deal. And if you are at all like me and don't think about buying Christmas presents for someone until like three days before Christmas, this is the perfect panic gift. Three months at $6.95 a month, that's basically $20. Now every month that you're signed up with Audible, you get one audiobook and two Audible originals every single month. If you wanna get this deal for yourself, I don't blame you, but it's also a great gift for anybody else because three of their favorite stories, you can give them the audiobooks and they'll have it forever. If you're looking for a suggestion, I am a massive YA reader. And by massive, I mean size-wise, I'm just, I'm bigger. Because, you know, young adults are usually teenagers. So, like, I'm bigger than them. My recommendation is Marie Lu's Legend series. It takes place a couple years down the line. America is now fractured into two different territories. There's the colonies, and then there's the Republic. In the Republic, there's an aptitude test that everybody has to take. And it determines your placement in that society, how high you can rise. In the history of that test that they give, only two people have ever gotten a perfect score. One is the greatest outlaw that the Republic has ever seen, and the other becomes a military genius who is tasked with capturing the outlaw. It's a great story. Audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, or just texting Dylan is in trouble to 500, 500 Not only is it a fantastic deal, but it also really helps out me and my channel. So I'd be grateful if you guys signed up. Now let's get back to this movie that I hate so much that I love it. <laughs> Your dad would be proud. Miss him on the force. Oh, her dad's a cop. That's why he let her off the hook. It's cops abusing their power, man. I'd let him crash down at the station until his memory comes back. I feel terrible. <laughs> you should. You hit him with no consequences. You are not sleeping under a tree when I have an empty guest house you can stay in. No, 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 Brooke. I don't think that's a good idea. It will be fine. Hawkeyes get away with everything. He's carrying a real sword. And everyone's looking at him like he's insane. But she's like, no, it's fine. He's hot. He can stay in my guest room. And the police officer who's dealt with criminals his whole life is like, I don't think that's a good idea. But she's like, no. Look at his face. Does that look like the face of a murderer? Maybe, but a hot murderer, okay? He could stay there. I'm gonna take the risk, okay? I'm taking the risk. I'm taking the risk. So the wheel acts as the reins and the pedals at your feet control the steed's speed. How is he wrapping his head around this so fast? Oh, he's like, oh, the wheel, where are the horses? That's the question you'd ask. Off the jabbers. What did he say? Hold on, hold on, can we put the subtitles on for that one? Did you say bajabbers? Oh, bajabbers! Bajabbers! Shut the fuck up, okay? I don't care if you're from the past. 
Don't say pajabbers. <laughs> Fuck you. How are we like 15 minutes in? I feel like I've been roasting this movie for days. It should be nice and cool. Oh, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Don't catch her. I am so pissed. Oh my god, I hate this. I hate this cliche so much. How, how are this many people falling in movies? People are always falling only to be caught by the guy and then they are like, oh, My knight. Uh, she's a- hold on. I think she's a science teacher or something. She's a science teacher who's disillusioned by love. Why is- why science? Huh? Unless she's gonna put together a fucking time machine at the end of this. Which would make sense and I would love that. But this movie's not gonna do that. We know this. Why is she not a history teacher who can like- she- she could like give him like historical insights and then he could go back in time with her and then they could like fucking take over the country or something. Oh, your king's gonna be stabbed by this person on this day. Don't go, I don't know much about King Henry. I, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think he was stabbed to death by someone. Not every ruler is stabbed to death. It's the very rare. And it's it's rulers who are usually hated by a lot of people that are stabbed to death. Oh, sh- Yep, I am right here. Dude, I'm so, I'm sorry, man. Why? It's not like I have feelings or anything. I forgot. I, I... I forgot he was there. It's a compliment, really. Cause, uh, it's not a compliment. One day, one day, you son of a bitch. How about I just show you the bathroom? Mm. Oh God, if he takes off his shirt and then she ogles his night body. I come. Stop, her eyes, watch your eyes, watch your eyes, Vanessa. I'll let you get dressed. Okay, no ogling. Don't turn back, don't turn back. You a little ogler, get the fuck out of here. Every Christmas movie. They're always ogling the shirtless guy. Well, this is the second time we've seen him. He's got some sad Christmas story. He's gonna be the sad guy whose life is in shambles. Wait, 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 how did he get- Wait, 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 wait. when did they get their food? And how was he finished with almost all of it? Dog, but it's been like 15 seconds since- Okay, so they're putting- They're putting their menus away. They just ordered, right? Cut to him, serving a plate. Cut back to- it. He's finished! What's with these little jumps in time? Another round, pretty. You got it. Oh, no. God, that's not how you're supposed to... That is not how you're supposed to touch a cup, lady. You just put the thumbs right in it. What are you doing? I worked at a restaurant for three hours one time. And then I quit. But for those three hours, I learned that the bottom 60% of the cup is yours. Top 30% is theirs. That's not 100%. And then I guess between the 60 and the 30, there's a 10% and that's just, that's just free real estate. It's free real estate. Fair maiden, waiting for you back at home. I could not marry the Lady Matilda. Uh, While I cared for her deeply. Her name was Matilda. It was never gonna work. He looks like a cheap Robert Pattinson. And now I can't get it out of my head. I, it's stuck in there. I have so many Christmas chores I have to get done. Also, do you have a job? What do you do? What has she been doing? Oh, she's a teacher. No class? I guess it could be winter vacation. If I was a girl, I'm gonna keep it 100% real with you. I would not fall asleep near a guy until we were married. <laughs> Cause guys are crazy. There's a lot of crazy guys out there, okay? I'm just looking out for you ladies, all right? Never sleep next to a guy you've known for one day when he carries a sword on him. I am aiming for a much more productive day ahead. Yeah, grade some papers, you lazy teacher. I moved home after she got sick and my dad passed away a few months after she did. Well, at least they went together, almost. I'm sorry. Why did you kill them? I haven't seen my mother or father since I was sent away to the squire. And I carry them and all my memories here. <laughs> in my left shoulder, specifically right here in this region, I have really strong shoulders. I can carry them. A little, that, the heart's closer to here, dog. He was like up here. Then again, how well did they know the human body in 1334? I'm gonna give him a pass. You know, my mother was also a seamstress. Sounds like her mom's would have gotten along. Yeah, too bad yours is dead. You said that you were knighted by King Edward III. He ruled in the 1300s. This would be so much better if you were a history teacher. But you know time travel isn't a real thing, right? Well, by that logic, only things that you comprehend are possible. I suppose you're right. I'm sorry, Sir Cole. Look at him. His fucking 1300 brain is way better than your 2019 brain, you 
dummy. I'm just gonna give this, like, there's no point in giving legitimate critique to this film, right? But I actually think this movie would be better if we didn't know if he was from the past or not. If we just thought maybe he was crazy. Because that mystery would run throughout the whole film. But you took some of the suspense away by actually showing scenes of him in the past. Get rid of those and then do a reveal at the end whether he is from the past or whether he's just insane. <laughs> and then he just kills four people with his sword. That would be a good ending. Like she just has like this great romance with him. He stabs four people and then gets sent to jail. And that's it. Merry Christmas, everyone. This one looks hearty. <laughs> he's gonna do it in one shot. Bet, just one clean sweep, bet. <laughs> <laughs> so you remember how to drive? I've tamed all sorts of beasts in my day. Yours is no different. Well, pretty different. Okay, I guess. <laughs> she's gonna give him her, oh my God. She's a high school teacher who's going to give her keys to a guy she met three days ago who she hit with that same car. Do you see what's wrong with this? Yeah, she never taught him traffic lights or anything. What is her, what is she thinking? Yeah, I, I was gonna say, someone's gonna steal that car. He probably just left the keys in it. You found my car abandoned on Main Street. What happened? This is so your fault. You know, my father used to say, you can achieve anything in life if you want it badly enough. Why are you giving him a speech right now? This man drove your car onto a sidewalk. Yeah, of course she's gonna get away with it again. Not even a parking ticket. We sure could use a whole lot more coals in this world. Flashback to my episode series. Oh, who remembers that? Who remembers the episode series? That was a classic. Fuck! I knew she was up to something. Erg, 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 erg. Oh, look at that ass. That's the first time I've seen best. Oh, that's, it's gone already. <laughs> See, this is honestly, if I was directing this movie, I would just have a running gig where he just pulls his sword out and hits things for no reason. Like, it doesn't make sense just because he's from the past for him to just pull his sword out and start whacking stuff. But it would just be so funny. Um, excuse me. I wouldn't mind helping. Of <laughs> There is a man swinging a sword in the middle of the yard in the morning and you just roll up like, hello neighbors. Another time perhaps? Is she flirting? The man is in the middle of the lawn in some 14th century garb swinging a sword at reindeer. And that's the man you're interested in. Well, Lily, behave yourselves. Why does that guy keep popping up? Can't you ask your dad to buy you new ones? Oh, he's poor. He gets really sad when we ask for new things. Oh, he's poor. <laughs> His wife left him. I. Uh, looks good on my side. Okay, hold it there. Oh, this guy again. What are you doing here, poor bastard? I want my kids to know it's important to give back. Okay. His daughter is best friends with Claire. He's a good man. Okay, so he's gonna end up with a sister. I would assume. Miss Winters. Oh, the one student she has. <laughs> Mom, can Lily and I go play outside in the snow? Well, I don't know, you guys. It's snowing pretty hard. Hey, oh hey, you. Come back. Something bad's gonna happen. Like, that little girl's gonna get lost or something out there. Can't have Yuletide bean bread without the bean. The one who finds the bean is crowned king or queen of the feast and gets to make a Christmas wish. But the dough will fail to rise if you continue to rest it like a dragon slayer. Uh oh, God. Oh, my God. No! No! Inappropriate night. Inappropriate! He's going for it. He's resting his chin on her shoulder. Hey, Mats, what's up? The kids are lost. You can't okay, find the kids. Okay, calm down. We'll be there. Fucking knew it. Claire's missing. Oh my god. Don't forget your sword. You might need it. <laughs> Is someone gonna fall through the ice? Oh no. Not the lake. She's like, oh no, not the lake. Let's leave him. I don't like the lake. Oh, he brought his fucking sword. Why is this grown man searching for children with a sword? Oh, she's falling through. This bitch is going through. Have you ever seen a snail? Yes. Please fall through. <laughs> and die. I'm sorry, this movie could use a little death. They're really not gonna fall through? Could be stuck here forever. Would that be so bad? Have you known him for four days? Maybe don't talk about forever just yet. Oh, interrupted. They're getting interrupted. Bet. <laughs> oh, wait, who's this Asian guy? <laughs> wait, is that her sister's husband? He loves him. Pickpocket! Do you understand your rights? Have they been read to you? Well, 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 you're turning into... <laughs> The actor, the guy, he's got his hands behind his back, expecting to get cuffed. And this actor is like, you know what? 
It's a fucking Christmas movie. Does anyone care? Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, hold on. I'm calling it. Big time out on that negativity. I believe in you, Cole. Never were there four little words that managed to wrap my weary heart into a warm blanket. <laughs> what? What was that word he said before? Jerbuckler or something? <laughs> it was so dumb. Heedless of the oh, fancy. Is she drinking Fiji water? She, she got Fiji water on a teacher's salary? Splurge girl. Oh, oh, turn and ah. Turn and ah. Oh my, you look exquisite, you lady. It's just you look exquisite. Positively radiant. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, I think mine was better, so fuck you. I hate it. Don't look at her like that. Don't look at him like that. Eyes to the tie. I have something for you. Stay here. Okay, open. <laughs> it's an orange. He's like, this is all I get for Christmas? I saved your fucking niece. We don't use half pennies anymore, but that's an American half dollar. Oh, 50 cents. Thank you for this orange and 50 cents for Christmas. This means more to me than words can express. Hmm. Yeah, well, he just doesn't want to say, this is shit. Uh, <laughs> Interruption number two. In all caps. <laughs> what kind of phone delivers texts that look like that? A text. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is some kind of um, Christmas wrestling tradition. That would be funny if he gets picked up and he just gets pissed off because he thinks he's being wrestled. And then he just, he gets his feet and just tosses dude into the Christmas tree. I get it, you don't want to turn this into a comedy. This is still a movie for moms mostly. I get that, but come on. And just fucking launch that bitch into a tree. I wish we had a Christmas tree like this. What's the best thing under any Christmas tree? Love. That's right. <laughs> oh, what's sad, children? You ever find a PlayStation 2 under your Christmas tree? No, you don't know what real joy is. That's for us? Oh, yes, they are. Get in there, open them up. Four kids having a nice Christmas is just the best thing ever. This is for you. <laughs> it's a P90X DVD. Like, mm, maybe you should start, Greg. Whoa. Look over here. That girl's teeth are so adorable. I don't know how to describe it. But her, t she's just like a, the cutest kid ever. You can always count on bad Christmas movies having cute children who just cannot act. We'd love to help you clean up, but we gotta get this little one to bed, of course. Ah, oh, the best excuse for having a child. I, we would love to help with the arduous cleanup of this massive place, but the kid, we gotta put the kid down. We just gotta put her down. She's tired. It must be my way back. Back where? Back to my home. Oh, well, then you've fulfilled your quest. Yep, known you for five days. Okay, I have a whole life in the past. I have no choice. I, I ah, must see, return. This is another thing I think the movie made a mistake on. If they wanted to make this decision seem hard for him, show scenes in the past of him being missed. Show his family mourning him or something, you know? Or like out searching for him night and day. You're not making this easy, Cole. <laughs> He's just... He goes back to the past. He's just like 700 years old when he meets her. And I just, he just like, I live all this time just to meet you again. And he's like fucking 700. Just like cobbled together by witch's magic and <laughs> decrepit bones. Bodies barely hanging on. <laughs> and she's like, you, <laughs> go away. <laughs> That's one of those jokes where I think I'm only gonna laugh at that. Cause I had a, such a clear image in my head of him just being like, Brooke, I said you, it's been 700 years. I've waited all this time. Cole? Cole? Was the random smoke out of nowhere not enough of a sign for you? Like if someone says goodbye and then disappears in a cloud of smoke, don't expect them to be there when the smoke disperses. You will never believe what happened. Grayson? is begging me to take him back. Oh, you think that's hard to believe? How about a fucking person disappearing 700 years into the past, hmm? Paige, I was wrong. But you said. No, it's not about your goals, that's good. About true love. It does exist. When it does, you'll recognize it. You're just playing with this girl. <laughs> this, this girl's just taking all her cues from her science teacher. Oh, she got the bean. Magic bean. She got a magic bean. Plant that. Make it into a big beanstalk. Fuck Cole. Get Jack. He knows how to navigate those beanstalks. Show it. <laughs> Brother? Jeffrey. My heart also led me to Milady Brooke. 
You're in love. I can see it on your face. <laughs> what do you mean? He literally just said, my heart led me to this girl, Brooke. And he's like, oh, I happen to spy on your face a little bit of love. Yeah, I just fucking told you, my heart went to this girl. But your knighting ceremony is of no importance in comparison to matters of the heart. I wish you well. Always. I carry you with me. Here. Up here. Carry you with me up here. Right up here. Right up, right up here. Man, he's being knighted. One of the most important days of his life, and he's like, go get your girl. Why don't you stay for the knighting ceremony and then go through time to go get your girl? This December isn't happening till hundreds of years later. I don't think I'll ever see him again. That's fine. You still got the prince from the other movie. That, that sequel's coming out next year. Just go to him. What trauma are you going to put this horse through again? <laughs> this horse saw you disappear. And then when you come back, it comes racing for you because it loves you. And now you ride it out into the woods to disappear on it again. That's like a dad from a family and the dad leaves and then comes back for a day. And then he's like, you know what? I was happier without you. And then leaves again. That's what this horse is going through. Whatever it is that you desire, I will do. If you help me return to my truest love. Well, this old crone doesn't get much action. Very well. <laughs> that was so easy. He didn't have to do anything. He was just like, can you send me back? And she's like, all right, snap. Where's Cole? He had to leave last night. I thought he liked it here. Oh, he did. He really did, but... He just hated you. He said he hated you so much, and that's why he left. It's cold, and he brought his horse. Oh, he brought his horse. Oh, good job, man. So basically, in my metaphor that I now have to rearrange, the dad came back for a day, and he's like, I hate the rest of our family, your brothers and sisters and your mother, but I like you, so I'll take you with me. <laughs> Nothing would make me happier. What a handsome man. What if he just had like a micro penis? Hmm? What if you're like, oh, okay, let's not be together. And he's like, okay, well now I'm just trapped here in the future. What do you do here? Open my own bakery. A bakery? <laughs> That's perfect, because she's a baker. Oh wait, no, she's a science teacher. She's a baker in the other movie. Is this all one universe? Does she become a baker and this is the prequel to that? Maybe he dies in that movie and then she becomes a baker and meets a prince. Hmm. <laughs> it's so awkward with her on the back. Sticking her head out so that she's in frame. Do you see that? <laughs> Why don't you let her ride in front and then take the, the reins with her in front of you? Okay, this was fun. This was fun. Don't forget to go to Audible. You'll find stories much better than this. <laughs> Why is she a science teacher? Never came into play. If you're gonna be a science teacher, dabble in time travel, like, theorems and stuff. Have her dabble in it! So that she can literally reach her hand through time and pluck his curly ass from the past and drag him to the future. I hope you enjoyed this movie commentary Monday. The next one that I have is going to be very special because I shot it months ago and it's a collab with other YouTuber. Hope you enjoyed this movie commentary video. Until next time. Toodles!